The Roman Empire spanned the Mediterranean, but have you ever wondered how their financial system worked? At the core of the Roman financial system was a denarius, a standardized silver coin that served as the empire's primary currency. This coin played a crucial role in facilitating trade and commerce, enabling transactions across vast territories and connecting diverse regions under Roman rule. Its wide acceptance and consistent value provided stability and confidence in economic exchanges. To maintain a steady supply of currency, the Roman Empire established mints strategically located throughout its expansive territory. These mints produced coins in large quantities, ensuring a robust circulation of currency in bustling marketplaces. The uniformity of the coinage system allowed for seamless transactions and facilitated economic growth and prosperity. Taxation was a fundamental aspect of the Roman financial system, serving as a significant source of revenue for the empire. Land taxes, import and export duties and levies on goods and services provided the necessary funds to sustain the administration, finance public infrastructure projects and support the vast military apparatus of the empire. The role of tax collectors was instrumental in the efficient collection of taxes, although their methods and reputation varied over time. Although the concept of formal banking as we know it today did not exist in ancient Rome, financial activities akin to banking did take place. Money charges operated in marketplaces and provided currency exchange services. They also facilitated lending and borrowing transactions, although the charging of interest was regulated by law aiming to prevent excessive exploitation and maintain fair practices. Trade and commerce thrived within the Roman Empire, with bustling marketplaces serving as vibrant hubs of economic activity. Merchants from diverse backgrounds and regions converged to exchange goods and commodities. The empire's expansive trade routes facilitated the movement of both local and exotic products creating a flourishing economy driven by supply and demand. The Romans displayed ingenuity in managing the risks associated with maritime trade. They developed financial contracts, known as bottomry and respondentia, to mitigate potential losses. Bottomry allowed ship owners to secure loans using their vessels as collateral, protecting them from unforeseen hazards. Respondentia, on the other hand, enabled investors to provide capital for specific maritime ventures, sharing both the risks and potential profits. The Roman financial system played a pivotal role in funding ambitious public works and infrastructure projects. Grand constructions such as roads, aqueducts, bridges, and monumental buildings were financed through a combination of public funds, including tax revenue and the personal wealth of emperors and the elite. These monumental projects not only showcased the empire's power and wealth, but also facilitated trade, communication, and the consolidation of Roman control. While the Roman financial system had its imperfections and vulnerabilities, it undeniably played a central role in sustaining stability, fostering economic growth, and financing the empire's grand ambitions. It provided a framework for economic interactions taxation, and financial transactions that propelled the Roman Empire to prominence for centuries.